Hi everybody, I am your Prasad. Today's our topic is Optimal Binary Search Tree. Optimal Binary Search Tree. This is the topic from Dynamic Programming. In the subject, the design and analysis of algorithm. Before designing a software, we documentize algorithms. Then we'll type programs in C, C++, Java, .NET, Python, any programming language. Then software will be designed. So before designing a software, we will documentize algorithms. In that, dynamic programming is one of the technique, method. From that, optimal binary search is a topic. Optimal means best out of all. Generally, dynamic programming means sequence of decisions, right? Binary. Binary means two. Search. Searching means finding. Tree. A tree-like structure. Branches and all. Just like a tree. Before this, we have a topic called search. Searching means finding or seeking an element. Finding an element. In that, we have linear search or our sequence searches. Means searching linearly, one by one. Which, which element we are about to find. And secondly, we have binary search. Before binary search, we will do sorting. We will sort the elements. We choose binary search when the elements are very large, very huge. If you have less number of elements in an array, we will go for linear search, sequential search, one by one. Because that array size is small, we can find easily. If the array size is large, very huge, it takes so much time in linear search. So we will go for binary search. That is node point. If the array size is large, we will go for binary search. And if before binary search, one more node point is we need to sort the elements, arrange the elements arrange the elements sort means arrange so here we have one more word binary search tree one more word is added tree tree like structure a branch like structure will be there right our topic this is also called as or our weight balanced tree when i draw the diagram we will come to know weight balanced tree right small search time it takes very small search time when you are finding element it takes very less time in optimal binary search. That's why it is called optimal binary search tree. Uh, it, this is of two types. OBST. The sh shortcut of this is OBST. Optimal binary search tree is of two types. One is static optimal binary search tree. Second one is dynamic optimal binary search tree. In static, the tree cannot be modified. Once a tree is drawn, it cannot be modified. Whereas dynamic binary search tree problems, we can modify the tree. By rotation, rotation the element, we can change the tree structure. Right. For example, take elements, values, numbers, keys, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. Right. For this, the optimal binary search tree, here we have two conditions. The left side of the root node value should be lesser than the root value. And the right side values of the root node value should be Value should be bigger values. In that way, we need to draw the tree. That's why it is called optimal binary search tree. We are all balanced, balanced, balanced binary search tree. Now, 40 I have taken as root node. Left side of the value should be lesser than the root node. When it is root node, it is lesser. Right side of the root node should be bigger. Similarly, right side bigger and left side of this we need to take here 60. Next to this value. And left side should be less than this root node. And right side should be greater than this root node. When 60 is the root node, the left side should be less than that. 50 is less than that. 60 is root node. 70 is the right side root value. Branch value. It should be greater than. When 40 is as root node, the 20, 10, 30 are the lesser than 40. 30. When 20 is root node, the left side value should be less and right side value should be more. For example, this is the condition for drawing a balance. That's why it is called weight balance. Weight balance. So searching, smallest smallest searching time it will take. For example, you are searching for 60. For example, you are searching for a value element 60. 
you were seeking, you were searching, you were able to find the element to do some operations in the program while writing a software, while designing a software. So we'll go to 40. So 60 is greater than 40. Then we'll come to this side. So we'll left to these values. So, so much time will be saved. This value will be skipped because 60 is greater than. We'll come to this. If you are finding value 30, for example, one more scenario, one more paradigm, one more situation, if you are finding a value 30 element number to do some operation, we'll go to root node. 30 is less than. So, we'll come this side. So, values of right side values will be skipped. So, that much time will be saved. In this scenario, we have taken only seven numbers. But in real time, when designing a software, we have huge number of values, lakhs and crores number of values. So that much value, 50% of the values will be skipped. If you draw this balanced, if you draw this weight balanced binary search tree. So, right? so if you are finding 30, the 40 is less than 30. 30 is less than 40. So we'll come to left side as the node point is that. Draw a tree such a way that left side of the value should be less than the root node. Right? This is the root node. Then we'll come to 20. Next we will come to 20. The 30 is greater than 20. 30 value, value is greater than number is greater than 20. Then we'll come to right side. Then we found the, we search the 30 element. In this way, we will write the binary search tree properly.